Hey everybody, Captain here, and uh, <clears throat> this is a video request, and if you want to have a video request, I'll do it. You just got to pay uh, extra money. <laughs> so go to assholeconsulting.com, and I'll help you. Really? Do they think I'm joking? No. Go to assholeconsulting.com. I'm making good money on this for some reason, helping all you kids out. Um, and uh, you don't have... What? What? No. No, I don't want the new version. Jesus Christ. Okay, an aside, real quick. All you computer IT fucktards out there, could you program it so we don't have to, like, do a daily maintenance thing about... Just just program it right the first time, okay? Is that too hard? Do you want this? Do you want that? Do you want us to fart? Do you want us to burp? Do you want us to belch? What do you want? Go the fuck away. Stop asking me questions. You're like a woman, okay? IT guys, here. Program computers like guys. We rarely ask for anything. Stop programming it like chicks, constantly fucking pecking us with stupid fucking questions. Anyway, somebody writes, he wanted to remain anonymous. He does not have a stupid fucking question. He has a very intelligent question. And he writes, Dear Captain, I have some question, uh, questions about studying computer networking that I would like for you to answer. One, I apologize if this is awkward. But why did you quit? You've mentioned that you studied a year, but then stopped. Yeah, uh, I was. I was uh, in a program down at uh, Hennepin County Tech, and I was going to become a computer networker because I got sick and tired of dealing with banking and bankers and all that other shit. And I just said, what is the most, what can I study very quickly and make decent money doing immediately after that, and avoid the master's doctorate progressive credentialism. And so uh, computer networking is one of those things where you can self-teach yourself, and then you get certified by taking different tests. And those certifications more or less carry their weight in the labor market. So if you're a certified CCNA, uh, people will hire you. And there's no... And, and the other thing with uh, computer networking, what I liked about it, it was very finite and very binary, literally binary. It's black or white. It works or it doesn't. And I liked that mathematical component because there was no politics, there's no bullshit, there's no fucking, you know, tooth missing, slack jog, trailer trash yokel coming up to me asking me for a, a, a payday loan so he can have gas to go visit his grandson that got cancer two days after it was born, which is a true fucking story. Just and you all wonder why I hate Wyoming. Um, so yeah, I was gonna go that route, but then out of the blue, literally out of the blue. This recruiter, great guy, by the way, out in Montana. I have no idea how this happened. He says, we got a position in Wyoming. And I said, I'm, I, they did have a position. Yeah, it was bend over and take it. Uh, they did have a position. And, um, yeah, so I took it and I made the money. It was like a great job offer. Uh, it was just a shitty job. And um, so I stopped. And then by the time I got back from Wyoming, I was already making enough money doing stuff like this. And my books were starting to take off. Uh, then I said, you know what, I don't ever want to try and work hard again. I really don't. Um, and by that time, I, I had sold myself to the point that, like, I will collect a fucking government check if I have to. I'm done. I tried it. Tried it. I tried to do it for four decades the right way. It ain't going to work. So, um, I kind of gave up. Uh, but I didn't, I didn't need the money is basically the short answer. Uh, so yeah, that was, uh, that's why I gave up because I got a better job offer and then other good things started happening. Uh, how does one get started? I've done Google searches and many of the sites that have come up look fairly sketchy. Can you recommend a good place to start? I would prefer studying self -help. Oh, you know what? Hang on. I got it. <clears throat> Do I have it? Oh, I think I got the book. Hang on! A++. Plus plus. Oh, shit. No, I don't got it. Okay. Uh, how I started is I was self-taught. I got a... a Introduction to Computer Networking book. It was written by a very good author, a female. Uh, just just wrote very clearly, succinctly. And I, 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 I shouldn't have thrown that book away. Uh, anyway, so I, I just read the book and I made sure I understood every sentence, every word, every paragraph before I went on to the next page. And that, that book or these introductory books, or there's even tutorials online, that's the way I'd recommend and then go taking a... Um, um, certification test. Now, the benefit, though, of going to a tech school is that you actually have the physical wires and you have the computers and the routers and all that other stuff. 
and that really is important to me to have that hands-on stuff so I'd recommend still spending a buck or two on a class even going for the two-year certification um, especially because I already had a degree so I didn't have to take their fucking bullshit uh, fuck white male studies and all that other crap uh, that they make you take but uh, it's really important to have that there are other online um, not online there are programs that are simulators that will simulate like Cisco has a program out there where you could take different routers and they show you the physical photograph of the back of the router and you have to plug in so you do it in theory but not with the actual wires in your hand uh, then there's also ACL programming and all that other stuff still I would say read through the books try and get through it best you can but then find either an IT guy who's willing to take you under his or her wing um, just so you get that physical because it's all theory it's all theory if you read the book but it, it that does not substitute actual hands-on you know plugging in cable routing um, logically laying out a LAN or a WAN stuff like that uh, Would computer networking be a good trade to learn for someone who is middle-aged and does not possess a top-shelf intellect yeah absolutely look at me I'm 38 years old yeah I started when I was like 36 yeah of course I was just fired from my job in business intelligence, which is a fancy way for saying design reports and SQL, with subscripting on the sites of basic analysis. Dude, if you're doing SQL and scripting, yeah, you definitely could do computer networking. Um, so, yeah, definitely. If you're mentioning that, you, you're you not average intellect. You're, you're probably more top shelf than you think. For a fairly high profile company, because to put it quite simply, I was not smart enough to do the work. Okay, well, maybe you're not, but try this time or not I don't know I, I should be so condescending I'm of the belief a lot of people will disagree with me on this that your IQ is set that you can improve your intellect that there's a certain amount finite fixed amount of neural connection thingies and I've been pounding this brain with booze for the past 15 years hard and I'm still a fucking genius because I try that's the whole thing um, I remember I was a very bad student back in high school like well not bad but I certainly like 2.1. I mean, I was a horrible student, frankly. That's because teachers fucking suck. They just bore the fuck out of you. You don't want to go to school. But when I actually tried, I got straight A's. And not only when I tried did I get straight A's, but my intelligence and my logic was vastly improved. Like, I started realizing things to the point, like today, and that's, you go down that road, I'm going to warn you, you can't turn it off. And sometimes it's nice being dumb. Like, I was so much happier playing my fucking video games like Dragon Warrior and fucking Final Fantasy 1 and 2. When Final Fantasy 2 came out, that was a big fucking deal. It's a sequel, man. Oh, my God. And I was a fucking loser, you know, by all measures that I would judge people by today. Um, but a lot happier, I'll tell you that. Because once you go down that path of improving your intellect, you start to get educated and knowledgeable, and you start thinking things through in your brain, it's a, it's a muscle. You work it out. You work it out. And you start realizing, wow, there's a lot of stupid fucking brains around here. It's uh, So that's just the theory of mine. So don't, I'm, I'm saying have faith, is what I'm saying. Uh, while, I was fully edu uh, blah, 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 so while I was fully technically, educationally, and professionally qualified, please believe me when I say I checked the job description very good before getting burned in the past year. I just could not keep up with the pace of the work. I could and did do my tasks, just not fast enough, despite working myself to complete exhaustion. Okay, you know what? Here, here's, this is very important. This is a lesson for everybody. What if you didn't fuck up, but the company did? See, everyone, everyone's very hard on themselves. You know, you, you, you think, oh, I, I goofed, I failed. Well, have you ever looked at companies? Is your division doing well? This is, this is, and I, I had this epiphany myself when I was in banking. When everything I had a concern about ended up becoming true with the housing crash. And then you're, the wool is taken off your eyes like, oh my God, they're a bunch of fucking retards. You always think that your employer, your boss, the company you work for is smarter or better or holier than thou than you. In reality, they're not. They're just humans. It's just composed of humans. And usually nine times out of ten, if you're at a you know a big company, it's not the best or the smartest people to get ahead. It's the most ass-kissing, brown-nosing, vile people that get ahead. So I wouldn't take you getting laid off as, well, here's another problem. The one time I was fired, they all joked at me. And they were joking at me. This is a long time ago. I was like 22, 23. Bunch of fucktards down in Chicago. 
they laughed at me. Think I said, the stock market can't keep this up. And, and this was before the Asian currency crisis, which then led to a, a dot-com bubble. I was right. I was proven right. Uh, and it didn't matter how many of these astards had CFAs or MBAs or whatever else, or how many more years experience, they didn't have independent thought. So my point is, don't take this personally. Don't let this be a blow to your ego or your competency. you got to realize how fucked up and screwed up corporate America is. I don't say that to make people feel better. I'm not saying that to give you an excuse like, oh, I'm a dead man, and, and then like you get fired because you genuinely are an idiot. No. Do you know anyone that's happy at work? Do you know anyone's like, yeah, they actually treat us right and like shit gets done and like there's a reason Office Space and Dilbert are fucking genius. It, there's a reason they're popular because it's true. Most managers, most companies, most employers, I'm amazed they're profitable half the time. And the only reason I believe they're profitable half the time is because society actually needs some kind of food. They need electricity, so like they'll pay anything in the end. Uh, and I do believe technology saves them. Anyway, so don't don't let this get you down. Smart enough to work that it out. I just could not keep up. I could. In a, my education is a BA in applied economics. Oh, okay, you know you're not. It's the liberal arts degree, but it's not. It's applied. You know, so you actually. Yeah, math plus computers plus accounting plus a little engineering and finance. Yes, you have the ability, and a master's in finance. Okay, dude, more than I got. I attempted to study engineering and computer science, but the volume of cor coursework overwhelmed me. Well, you just got to bite it off one at a time. I have quite a bit of university coursework, certification, professional work outside my degree in programming and math. Okay, really. You, you got to give yourself a credit. Let me tell you a story sometimes. It's going to be a long-ass fucking video, but I think everyone can learn from this. All right. Um, Crow's Peak. No, not Crow's Peak. It's a different peak. Ah, shit. It's just south of Bridalville Falls in South Dakota, Spearfish Canyon, beautiful canyon. And it's a canyon, like there's cliffs, and, and, and then it kind of, at best, this is the angle, like a 60 degree angle. And there was a peak, and I was riding my motorcycle in this beautiful canyon, and I saw that peak. I'm like, I want to climb that peak. And there's no trail, there's no nothing, I just bushwhacked the motherfucker. So I pulled my bike over, hid my jacket and my helmet and all that other gear, and I hiked right up that fucking shit. And it was grueling. Uh, one of the more difficult short hikes I've done. It was not a hike. It was really a climb. And, I was, and you know what? All I did was focus on the top. And it wasn't until I was two-thirds up that I'd take the time to bother to turn around and look and see how high I really got. I could see Crow's Peak, which is a peak on the other side. It's a outside of Spearfish, South Dakota. I could see the town of Spearfish. I could see the road wiggling through. I had achieved a great amount of things, but until I looked behind to see and realize what I did, I had no clue. I was thinking I was a miserable failure. I have not reached the peak yet. That's the goal. Da -da -da. You never take the time to look back. I, you need to look back. You have a master's in finance, a BA in applied economics. You have all these certifications. You can program. You know SQL. Dude, you're in the top 5%, frankly. Now, I'm not joking. I'm not trying to kiss your ass. You're in the top 5%. You have to give yourself the credit and say, you know what? I'm in the top 5%. Maybe this company was managed wrong. Maybe this division was completely fucktarded. Maybe they were running everybody ragged. I mean, the fact that you got fired, I'm wondering, yeah, but were the other people that got fired? They laid off a bunch of other people? That'd be a big thing. If it was just you, maybe it was personality. But if a bunch of people got laid off or they reorganized, well, that means somebody in management is fucking up. So you, you've you done this. All right, and we continue on. Uh, you know, while well, I have the ability to study and successfully study technical concepts such as object-oriented programming, relational databases, probability theory, and partial differential equations, I just cannot do it very good. But you understand it. Yeah, computer, you're not supposed to do it quickly, but you understand it. Do you know, I'm just slower than many other... I, okay, is computer networking realistically a thing to study? Yes! <laughs> it's, and truthfully, it's not that hard. It's very logical. It's, it's very much related to traffic. Um, I mean, on the road. It, it's almost identical to that. There's traffic jams. You need lights. You need routers. You need things this way, that way. Turn signals. It, it's almost identical. And if, if you understand that concept, which you do because you've driven around... Um, you can understand computer networking. But yeah, I would say computer networking, it's not... You're not doing probability theory or partial differential equations. It's binary. It's very simple math. Um, like how to subnet an IP address. That's that's 
you can do that because you know two four eight sixteen thirty two uh, what is it sixty four hundred twenty eight all that so you could you can do that um so yeah co computer networking is very realistic i think you'd be underselling yourself in computer networking but you know what if you just want something to get the fuck out of dodge do it and then no one gives you fucking shit computer networking and here's the other thing with computer networking especially if you get into physical stuff that can't be outsourced to fucking Punjab in New Delhi. No offense to our Indian brothers and sisters, East Indian. But complete offense to our native... No, I'm kidding. No offense to anybody. Anyway, yeah, if you can get into the actual, like, laying down cable, uh, plugging in, setting up computer network systems, computer networking is definitely, um, definitely within your ability. You, I think you just need confidence, frankly. Is there enough demand that employers cannot expect everyone to be lightning quick, or is it a field too simply to be crowded and you better be the top? Ah, you know what? Um, there's always people going into it, and um, when I was there, I'll, I'll be very blunt and direct. Actually, let's help out our, our Native Indian American brothers and sisters. The best person in our class. I'm not bullshitting. I'm not doing this for affirmative action, warm funnies, fuzzies. I'm being totally serious. The best person in my class. Fuck, really? This is how it happens. They all know I'm busy. Hey, let's call him and annoy him now. The best person in our class was uh, an Indian chick, not not East Indian, um, American Indian. She was good. She was good, and we I'd flirt with her. We we it was she anyway. Um, so she was the best. And then there was a a, a couple other guys. One really smart IT guy. He kind of knew his shit. There was your standard fat basement dwelling pony ha ponytail wearing guy that would just flaunt his intelligence because anyway, so was that guy. There was me, not to brag, I was in the top of the class. And like maybe one of but then there were like thirty or forty others in our group. And um and they they, they, they weren't dumb, don't get me wrong, I'm not slamming on them. They weren't that bright. They they certainly they weren't gonna give you a run for your money. If you're doing all this other stuff, you conceptually understand this. I think you're gonna be in that same kind of top five. You're not gonna beat the Indian chick. <laughs> girl that girl had like a fucking gift, man, from God. She was like she was really that good. She just she's just that good. And I, I envied her because like, you know, we're all in the top like ninety eighth percentile. She was like in the eight thousandth percent that she's just really good i hope she's doing well she probably is i don't have to worry she's doing fine anyway um so uh then you ask if so uh top percent i get is there any other traits i should consider okay here's the deal the world really is your oyster i'm trying i'm not trying to spin this in a positive light to make you feel better i'm telling you because i'm trying to accurately assess your skills and your ability you could do welding you could do plumbing you could do electrical work you could do something I uh, uh, and that's great. If you get some kind of trade where you could do it yourself, you don't have to answer some asshole boss. Computer networking, yeah, you gotta. Most of your employment's gonna come from corporate type clients or government clients. Uh, but if you know the trades, man, I I really, if I ever make enough money, I don't think it'll happen. But if I ever make enough money, I'd love to become a mechanic. I love wrenching on my motorcycle. I love working on my uh, not my computers. I love working on cars. Um, you know, I look forward to changing oil. And it's just because there's no fucking boss. And I can do production. I get it done to my satisfaction. It's done. So that may be more of uh, what you're looking for. But given your raw talent or what I think you have the capacity for, yes, computer networking is definitely within your jurisdiction. And not only that, within the field that you've been studying. So you would, it would become very natural to you. It, it, the concept of subnetting or supranetting would not you, you pick that up literally in in a minute if that you you already have it in your head like oh yeah it's just this okay I do it that way. But it may be that uh, you're just not the type to work for people, and and that's that's most people. The real skill of good employees is to suck it up and suck other people's cocks and pit, you know, kiss other people's asses. That's the true skill. So maybe you want to think about welding, mechanics. Well, mechanic, you can go work for somebody else. I'm just saying consider some of the more hands-on traits. Still, computer networking, absolutely. Go and do it. And, um, yeah, so I hope that helps you out. And I hope everybody else learned a lesson. I think we all learned something about ourselves today. Didn't we learn something about it? I always do that to my girl.
<laughs> I'll tell you the story. <laughs> Thanksgiving rolls around, right? You got that 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 marathon from Thanksgiving to uh, to Christmas. I personally like watching planes, trains, and automobiles. That's my holiday movie. Well, my girlfriend has this thing. She likes watching the Hallmark Channel and watches these horrible chick flicky things. And at the end of it, I, I don't watch it. But she'll be finishing up and I say, I think we learned something today. We, we, we all kind of grew a little bit. It, it, she doesn't curse, but you could just tell her, I was like, fuck you, Clary. That's <laughs> Anytime you see a Disney movie with a girl or some chick flick, you know, at the end I say, I think we learned something about ourselves today. You'll never be invited. You're not invited. You'll never be demanded to go attend some fucking chicky chick movie, some Harlequin romance movie about the single mom who meets... Oh, what was the guy's name? Oh, he's one of my favorite musicians. He's a good musician, too. Saw him in concert in far, uh, South Dakota, or North Dakota. Harry Connick Jr. He was in some fucking Christmas movie. And and the girl fell in love, of course, you know, and it all worked out in the end. I think we learned something about it. We, we grew a little bit, didn't we? Anyway, that's all we got. Toodle.